So let's go ahead and work on reading what this plan is trying to tell us. And I'll scroll back over to the left here so we can see it. I also want to mention at this time that I've intentionally dropped an index on one of the tables for the purpose of demonstrating some aspects of reading an execution plan. So what we want to do is we want to read the execution plan from the inside out. And so we want to start at the innermost operation and work our way out from there. In this plan, we'll have a choice of two operations, but we'll start with this operation here, a table access full of the course enrollments table. What this operation is doing is reading all of the records out of the course enrollments table. And if we scroll over so that we can see our filter predicate again, we see that a condition is being applied so that we only get the records for this particular student. We see that Oracle expects this operation to return approximately 25 rows. And the estimated cost of this operation is 206, which is pretty high. And we'll come back to the cost of this operation in a moment. The other operation, which is at the same indent level, is that Oracle is performing an index full scan of the PK grades index, which is the primary key on the grades table. In an index full scan operation, Oracle is going to read the data of the entire contents of the index in order, which is important because that data is in sorted order. Now reading an index doesn't give you the actual data in the table, only whatever columns are in the index and the row IDs that point back to the corresponding rows in the table. So moving outward, we see that the next operation is a table access by row ID. And what is happening here is that Oracle is taking the row IDs that it got from the prior index operation and using those to look up the actual data in the grades table. At the same level as this table access by index row ID, we see a sort operation that is occurring over the data we read from the course enrollments table. And by looking at the access predicate, we see what is driving that sort is the join condition on the grade code column. So the big picture of what is happening here is that Oracle is reading the data that it needs from the course enrollments table and then sorting the data by grade code. At the same time, Oracle is also reading all the data out of the grades table in sorted order by use of an index scan operation and then looking up the corresponding rows. As a result, Oracle has two data sources, both in sorted order by grade, and that allows Oracle to do a merge join operation between these two data sources which is what we see in this operation here. So our output from this operation is the course enrollment data for this particular student joined with the grade data. Let's go ahead and collapse this node to make things a little bit easier to read. We see at the same level as the merge join, Oracle is reading data from the course offerings table. And the way that it's doing so is first by conducting an index range scan of the index IX course offer term code. And it's using the supplied term code FA2012, which is for the fall of 2012, in order to drive this operation. What Oracle has done is it's looked at our WHERE clause, and it's determined that we want all of the course offerings for this particular term. And it's noticed that we have an index on the course offerings table that can be used. So Oracle is looking up all the matching values in this index, and then using the results from the index, using a table access by index row ID, to get only the rows it needs from the course offerings table. Moving outward again, Oracle is going to take these two data sets and join them together by making use of a hash join operation. And we can see the join criteria here listed in the access predicates. So what we have now is a data set that's a combination of the courses our student is rolled in, the grade information, and the information of the course offerings table. So again, let's collapse this node to make things easier to read. And now we see we have just a couple of operations left. Oracle is going to read the data from the courses table, and this will bring in information like the course title and the number of credits and so on. And how Oracle is doing this is by performing a full table scan of the courses table. Then to join the data into our prior data set, Oracle is using a hash join operation. And finally, we have a sort operation. And this is in response to the order by clause specified in our SQL statement.